Hi, my name is Dr. Daniel Cantor, and I'm an MS neurologist from Ponte Vedra, Florida. A neurologist is someone who specializes in the nerves, so that means the brain and spinal cord. An MS neurologist specializes in the brain and the optic nerves which lead to the eyes as well as the spinal cord. Our role in the MS team is to stand by the patient and the family, to stand by the patient and the care partner in the treatment of multiple sclerosis. So the first thing we do is we take the history and then we do a physical examination and we try to diagnose multiple sclerosis. We have to think about other causes and this might mean that we order testing such as MRIs and we might even do a lumbar puncture or a spinal tap. Then we have to educate the family and the patient with multiple sclerosis. We then talk about treatment options. There are really three arms of treatment. One is a treatment to change the course of multiple sclerosis itself. The other is to try to manage the symptoms. And this doesn't always mean actual drugs. It might mean things like yoga or tai chi or alternative medications. And the third arm is if somebody is having a relapse, which is also called an exacerbation or attack, and we try to manage that relapse as it's happening. Once we have the treatment in line, the neurologist really follows both the patient with MS as well as the family members who are with that patient. And we follow them over time and we deal with various issues that may come up. The MS team is made up of lots of other people like physical therapists, occupational therapists, speech and swallow specialists, as well as possibly urologists who deal with bladder function and other types of medical professionals. The neurologist stands by the patient with MS as well as the family in leading the MS care. If you have any other questions about multiple sclerosis, please don't hesitate to contact.